Matt. Hey, Adam. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? No worries. Jump right to it. I'll just give you a heads up. I know you've had some tricky times with game media. In the <laughs> <last> <laughs> yeah, so. It's been very interesting. And I know it's been a crazy long day for you, too, uh, with, with stuff. So we want to make sure that we get fun, new, different kind of questions out of you. Cause oh, thanks. Without, without the agenda of trying to make you into some kind of gay god or politician, because I know that's a huge pain in the ass. I love you right now. Thank you. That's okay. Well, I, as soon as I heard you say that, like, uh, I'm not a politician, I'm like, duh. Duh. Like, yeah, I can talk about politics, but don't expect me to be like the gay Jesus. I'm like, right. Well, I mean, and that was the thing, too, that I, 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 I don't follow politics. That's the funny thing. It's not my, my thing. So I'm like kind of out of, I'm out of my league, you know? Yeah. So talk to me about what I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. But with this, like, I feel like all of a sudden, you know, you're just doing your art, and now it's become super political. Like, I know. I know. The CBS thing, I, would, I, would, like, I was like, yay, someone else picked up your thing, which is great. Like, you still get to do a morning show, and I'm like, you blurred. I know. And then you showed the Britney weird. Madonna thing right after. I know. It, it was, it, like, proved my point. Like, Clearly, clear as day. Um, have you heard their response yet? No, what is it? Oh, okay, so they were like, we gave this some real thought. The Madonna image is very familiar and has appeared countless times, including many times in morning television. The Adam Lambert image is a subject of great current controversy and has not nearly as been widely disseminated. For all we know, it may still lead to legal consequences. No, it's, that's, that's weak. That's the weakest thing ever. Yeah. We gave this some real thought. I guess they're trying to excuse themselves. Well, right? someone didn't give it some real thought when they did it. What did, you, what did you What did you feel like when you when you saw them when you found out like right after your intro? I I, I actually laughed. I laughed. I went, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> I was like, "You guys just proved my point. Thank you." Did anyone there have a response when, when it first happened for you or no? No, no. I I, I kind of found out about it afterwards. Okay. It's all good. I mean, it's all good. You know, it's it's one performance. I think it'll blow over. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, definitely what I what I don't want is I don't want people assuming that that's how I intend to do every performance or how I'm going to conduct my career as an artist. I mean. If anything can be learned from my, my presence on American Idol is that I like to kind of pick things up week to week and keep people guessing. That's how I, how I performed on the show. And on my album, you know, track to track is very diverse. It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of an eclectic mix of music. So, you know, that song is the one song that's, that's very seductive and, mm -hmm. and kind of dark and sexual. And there's other songs on there that explore other themes. Well, yeah, you're not going to do a, you know. A no, I'm not going to put. Action. I'm not going to put people in, you know, bondage fashion for, you know, what do you want from me? You know what I mean? This is another. Thought. You know what I mean? It's, it's not. It would be token. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Do you do you? I guess it was a pretty specific choice in your part to kind of come off with for your entertainment as as like that lead single, right? Yeah, I kind of like dark and kinky and very SM and like. Yeah, like, and I just kind of wanted to do something unexpected and different and 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 break out from the expectation a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's this thing. You know, you come off of Idol and it's like there's this expectation that you're going to be, you know, mass appeal, mass marketed, family friendly, granola, easy listening easily digestible thing and that's definitely not me as an artist and so that the reason that was one of the things that I gravitated towards for your entertainment you know it's 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 different it's edgy it's you know I am a sexual person I am you know avant-garde and I like edgier things I like experimenting with that imagery and and I really was looking forward to that opportunity do you do you think people are kind of like Weirdly shocked by all all of this, like you know. Oh yeah, I mean, like clearly. Every single Mickey Mouse art, like you know, when they're stuck, like you know, like the, the, the Christina and Britney, and like of course you want to break away from any images where you're forced to sign a waiver about what you can do, right? Like of course, as a real artist, you'd want to do that. Are you surprised people are so shocked by what you did? Um, yeah, I I guess I am. I mean, I kind of went for shock value on Idol, so I I, I, yeah, I guess sure. I'm surprised. Yeah, you know what I mean? And you know, it's like I mean, when the album cover came out and everybody was like, oh my gosh, and. I thought to myself, did you guys not see me with rhinestones around my eyes and rhinestone shoulder cages and platform glitter boots on uh, when I performed with Kiss on the finale? I mean, I kind of thought I had kind of set that up and, and, and bought myself that that leeway, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, and it's just, you know, it's funny to me, you know. Well, so, I mean, it wasn't that different than any other kind of, like, some rock and roll posturing and some, like... Well, and that's the thing that's is that we just... Like, that happens on daytime soaps now, too. That's what I don't realize, right? Yeah, well, and I think, the, I think the other thing is, is it's been a while since there's been, a, you, know, a, you know, a very visible male artist that's experimented with androgyny. It's just not cur current anymore. Um, and I, I'm trying to make it current again. I, 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 I like that. I've always been attracted to that. Mm -hmm. And... Um, that's just that's my thing, and so. 
How much creative control, control do you have over your, like, your image and your image? A game? lot more than people think I have, or certain people that write for certain magazines think I have. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I, this has been a collaboration and a team effort from the get-go. Um, the minute Idol, uh, the Idol thing, and even on Idol, I mean, it was the same way. Like, I was responsible for what was going on on Idol. That was me. You know what I mean? And, um, and... You know, when it wasn't a good performance, I took the heat. And the same thing goes for now. It's like, this is this is my career. This is my art. And um, right after Idol ended, the management came to me and said, you know, we really, really like you. You're great. We want to help you. We want to facilitate your vision. What kind of stuff do you want to do, dude? Hmm. And they had their ideas, of course, and they're, they're experts in what they do. And, and I, you know, recognize that. And it's a team thing. We, we work together for a common goal. And has the label been supportive? Uh, yeah. The, 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 my management and my label have been incredibly supportive. They, they From the get-go, they're like, what kind of music do you want to make? What producers do you want to work with? And I told them, I was like, oh, you know, I really want to do an album that kind of like doesn't have one genre. I want to do uh, like, like a strong, eclectic mix of music. Um, I want to do this glam thing. I want to do this as the first single. And they've supported it. Mm -hmm. And would you would you have ever signed with a label that would like that would have told you to keep your sexuality quiet or not allowed you to do the performance that you did the other night? Like, uh, I'd probably be pretty frustrated if that were the case. Yeah. Yeah. So you, if, you would... I don't deal well with uh, oppression. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. not my style. I like to kind of get things out in the open and be you know um, honest and um, and me. I want to be myself, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's what I was doing on stage the other night. Do you think that ABC is, like, backpedaling? Like, they're like, oh, we had no idea. But, I mean, there was still kinky SM imagery and a lot of fun stuff. Well, I think Regardless that, of that stuff, right? I, I, like, I really think that, that, to their credit, I think I, I, they didn't know exactly. I, and I didn't know. I mean, it was, it was stuff that kind of just was ad-libbed and improv and it, and it just I got carried away in the best, in my, my eyes, the best possible way. Yeah. Um, you know, during dress rehearsal, all like the, the roadmap was laid for like the staging, for example, yeah. but there was never any like lewd kind of like ultra sexual moments. It was more suggestive, and and I got excited and decided to turn them into those moments. Surprise! It's rock and roll. I mean, it, well, and that's the way I look at it. Is it's rock and roll. I mean, my favorite moments and and artists were people that pushed the envelope. I mean, remember what Marilyn Manson used to do? I mean, the stuff that he would try to play with, you know. Well, look and, at the '60s. How many like guitar yeah. solo blowjobs happened? Yeah, like the, the David Bowie, the the big Bowie image of him, exactly. like yeah, down, yeah, exactly. Velvet Goldmine is actually one of my favorite movies, and it's been a huge wow. source of inspiration for me, for my whole thing, my whole Very persona. Nice. Um, and it, it, you know, that's one of the quotes on there. The, the, the bass player who I kissed on stage, he and I share that love for that movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the first quotes that we kind of um, were talking about from the movie is that rock and roll is a prostitute and it has to be charted up. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a quote from the movie. And it's kind of an interesting way of looking at it. Is it's 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 supposed to be sexy. It's it's music. It's entertainment. It's supposed to make you feel stuff. Yeah. I have to ask you about the keyboard player. Like I, I mean, I know it may not have seemed like a premeditated thing or, or anything that you thought about before or whatever, but I had to have thought you at least give him a heads up. That's such a crazy thing. No, to I mean he he and I um, he and the funny thing is he's straight. Oh. I know. And but he's you know he's a really he's a musician and he's very open minded and he's you know we had talked about our love for that movie and just the themes that are in it. And during the video shoot, which we did the weekend before, he was like, you can, like, grab me and stuff if you want. You can do whatever you want, man. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I was just feeling it in the moment when I was up on stage, and I grabbed him, and I just made out with him. What did he say about it since? Was he like, Whoa, Oh, he, good he, he, we walked off stage, and he was just laughing so hard. <laughs> did he have a girlfriend or anything? He doesn't have a girlfriend right now, no. Uh, but see, what do, what do you think about, like, I mean, this is a kind of an obvious thing, to, I think, to gay men, but straight people that don't quite get it yet, is that a lot of straight girls love a little guy and guy action and it's so like denied yep. in culture and that's what he was saying to me he was like man I just joined Twitter and all these girls are saying it was so hot <laughs>